I saw you took a trip to the Tesla factory. What were your thoughts after meeting Elon Musk? Did you get to speak to him much? Uh, I wouldn't say much. We, we spoke probably for 20 minutes in total, uh, not purely privately because there's other people around, but you know, I just, that just barely gets you to know the surface of someone like Musk because he's an amazing person and God only knows what's, what's up with him, all things considered. We saw his new truck. He was taking people out for a ride. I, I didn't, I didn't go out for a ride. Uh, the truck's an amazing piece of engineering. The factory is massive. Um, you know, what do you say about someone who built a functional electric car and then shot it into space on a rocket? It's, he's a singular person. But I, th- I thought it went very well. It was a very interesting evening. So I was pleased to be there. And, you know, we sort of walked around each other a bit. And it was just fine. Do you guys interact a fair bit on Twitter? We seem to, yeah, yeah. What do you think so, that is? Why are you converging? I don't know. I don't know exactly. Um, we're both well known, and I suppose to some degree that that increases the probability of that kind of convergence. But maybe he's aiming up. Me too. He seems to be. He's the aiming up literally. He's yeah. aiming up very literally. Yeah. Definitely. Didn't he put a? Wasn't there a spaceman? A model of a spaceman in the driver's seat of the car that he put out into space. Oh, that, that's certainly possible. He's got a theatrical uh, twist. There's no doubt about that. And a great sense of humor, because that's really funny to shoot your own car out into space on a rocket. That's, like, Needlessly. that's a pretty damn good joke. But coming back and doing it again the second time showed pretty clearly it wasn't. Same with, same with Elon, right? He's refined down what he does to a couple of very, very tight parameters. Well, he seems to have, although his, his the enterprise he's put together is unbelievably high functioning. I mean, to produce a, an automobile sub-industry that's actually competitive and to bring down the cost of space exploration by a factor of 10 and to invent reusable rockets and to have developed this boring technology, it's, it's a miraculous. He's probably an alien. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Uh, there's only two. Probably a reptilian, isn't? It? American car companies, I think, that haven't gone bust: Ford and Tesla. And Tesla came very close a number of times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an amazing accomplishment. So, go Elon, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he's a remarkable person. <laughs> 